activities. And it usually begins in the run-up to Halloween when the kids are focused on getting a bunch of candy, but it's going to continue through Thanksgiving with the turkeys right up to the Christmas presents. There's a $1,000 reward if you can help lead police to any of these people. According to Crime Stoppers, Kumar Stevens was convicted of rape and kidnapping in 2012, and he's wanted for failing to appear in court and to register as a sex offender. William Alford, convicted of indecent behavior with children in the 80s and then again in the 90s, he's also accused of failing to register, as is Don Rivera, whose last known address was in West Wego, convicted in 2006 of indecent behavior with children. Stanley Porre, sexual assault on a child by a person in position of trust and accused of failing to register. But it's not just convicted sex offenders in this crowd. Lloyd Jones faces a first-degree murder charge and is accused of killing his girlfriend in August of 2020. If you can help catch any of the suspects, call Crime Stoppers. So far, more than 460 people have been booked after their cases rolled on the wheel of justice. Operation Budat runs until December 23rd this year. In one recent year, federal, state, and local law enforcers made 30 arrests and found five missing or endangered teenagers.